I have a hunch, not a whole lot of data uh, to, to uh, point to here. I have a hunch that there's a chunk of employers who are on the margin uh, when it comes to job creation. Uh, they may create jobs or they may not create jobs uh, at any point in time, uh, and certainly today. And in fact, they're on several margins uh, at one time. Uh, if they're interested in job creation, there's a question of how many jobs and what the mix of those jobs is going to be and what's going to be the organization of the workplace uh, that generates either high-end jobs or low-end jobs or, or, or some of the middle-skill jobs that, that still do remain and remain important in the labor market, uh, even though they've changed. Uh, they have to decide where they want these jobs to be created, whether it's in the U.S. or overseas and, and which local labor market in the U.S. makes most sense for them. Uh, so there's a lot of margins that they operate on and a lot of different factors are going to affect those decisions. But I think one factor that's relevant for this conversation is the quality of the skills in American workers that they see and indeed the quality of the education and workforce system uh, in creating those skills.